Welcome back from uh, Cologne, Germany. It's 10 o'clock here in Germany, and um, you are viewing JEP 20, 24 hours live about Joomla and about other things. And uh, um, thanks to all outside here in the outside, not in not in Cologne and, uh, and everywhere in the world joining us. Um, we are continuing with our next presentation, but before some um, shameless self promotion. So when you go on our, on our website, you will see a small donate button, and um, you might know that we have to cancel uh, Lisbon, uh, our in-person event, and yeah, that came with some financial issues. And uh, if you have uh, maybe some euros left to help us uh, to go out of this, then uh, it's this is much appreciated. Um, also, it would be great if uh, people can can Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebooking, whatever, go out of the street and scream about Jab. And uh, whatever you do, use the hashtag uh, Jab20. Um, our next presenter is Tobias, and he will uh, talk about uh, Joomla 310, what is some kind of uh, bridging um, uh, release we are um, releasing together with uh, Joomla 4. And, um, but I, I, all details came from, from Tobias and I don't really talk too much about it. So Tobias, it's your turn about 310. Yeah, thank you, Robert. Uh, he, he, here I am uh, again, uh, uh, my, my second uh, presentation. Um, this time about uh, 3.10, um, as I'm the, the release lead for 3.10 and uh, let's start with me. Uh, when you didn't watch my presentation uh, two hours ago, I'm uh, Tobias Zulov from uh, Germany, next uh, living next to Cologne. I've joined the, the Joomla community around uh, 2011. I'm the upcoming uh, 3.10 release lead. Um, I'm part of the security team, the maintenance team, and this is actually my second Jane Beyond presentation. Um, when you want to contact me, uh, just use my um, community email address, uh, tobias.zulov at community.jumla.org, or uh, contact me on uh, or look at for uh, my GitHub handle. Um, topics about this talk. Uh, 3.10, uh, what uh, uh, first things uh, first, then I'm going into the new features. Um, spoiler, there are not that many new features, but I will come into that later. Then the pre-update checker that is new in 3.10. Um, then I'm going to talk about uh, 3.10 for users and integrators. And um, then I'm going to talk about stringent developers. Um, and uh, what they can expect or should do with 3.10. And then there are uh, some, some links uh, you could follow and then the question part uh, of the presentation. First things first about 3.10, it's the final minor release. So, uh, and it will, as uh, Robert said uh, previously, re released simultaneously with uh, 4.0. Um, and it's a compatibility release so um, uh, that everything we can backport or the most of things we can backport from 4.0 through 3.x without a bc break will be included here um and uh yeah that's that's for the compatibility compatibility um so the extensions can use um the uh, nearly same code base uh to support uh, 3.x and um 4.0 um, it will also be the starting point for any 3.9 to 4.0 migration. Um, so when you have you right now have a 3.9 uh, website and want uh, them to be migrated to 4.0, you uh, update to 3.10, whatever is then the, the latest version first, and then you hit uh, you get the upgrade to um, 4.0. Um, and uh, that uh, release 3.10 will be um, run simultaneously to 4.0 and will get uh, at a minimum of two years of support uh, from the project. So it's not like that 4.0 is released and then two months later uh, 3.x uh, is dead. It's um, kind of a transition and bridging version. 
Um, as for the new features, uh, basically there are two right now. Uh, the pre-update checker I'm going to mention um, in, the, in a minute, and that compatibility layer I've talked about, and that's mainly relevant for extension developers, talking about that later too. The pre-update checker is uh, built in the Joomla update component. So uh, when you um, update um, from one version to another, uh, in uh, Joom, starting from uh, Joomla 3.10. Um, then there is an update uh, uh, checker. Um, I'm going to show that uh, in a minute. Um, the project lead for that was Rund, uh, Roland, um, and he developed that together with the with, uh, stu students from the uh, DHM uh, in Gießen. Um, and all that was based on a work that did uh, one, one were done by Nick Savanov and um, uh, Piotr Moko, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Um, uh, so basically the, the code that Nick wrote were for uh, 2.5. So it has this, this kind of um, uh, code has a bit of a history, um, but uh, it's up and running um, in 3.10 finally. Um, this is what it's going to be look like. Um, this is a 3.10 installation um, where we uh, manually set the update server to um, 4.0. So um, what you see is uh, one part we are going to uh, all parts uh, in a minute. Um, it just checks, uh, in this case, is, is your server you're running 3.9 on right now um, capable of running 4.0? of updated uh, database um, uh, or required PHP um, require PHP requirements, updated uh, requirements. Um, most of the things you see here, you are also seeing when you uh, install Joomla for the first time. Uh, so it's based, based on that. Um, but uh, for the uh, PHP and database stuff, we are querying the XML for the Drupal core. Um, the uh, second thing is the recommended PHP settings uh, that's also coming from the installer. Um, then we have some uh, directives where we recommend stuff. So you see it here too. Um, recommended basically means, yeah, you can still update. So this is an XAMPP install. There is display errors on and output buffering on, um, but uh, you still can, can upgrade out a problem, um, but uh, it's also showed in the uh, pre-update checker to um, let you check on that. Um, and there's this thing um, that's going to be relevant uh, to all of you when you upgrade it from uh, 2.5 to 3.x. There was um, numerous lists of, yeah, this extension now supports uh, uh, Joomla 3 at that time you need to have this this or that version um, and this kind of checks for your individual site um, is now included in the um, in this in this pre update checker it basically um, works based on the update server xmls you provide for your extension or the extension developer provides for your extension um, and they uh, indicate what version and what um, uh, extension uh, is supported, is not supported, um, or uh, you need to have this, uh, uh, you need to have a newer version of this component installed or extension installed. Um, it's, yeah, that's that's the thing that's uh, included here. I'm going to show uh, some examples of the XML files and what impact they have. Um, Let's just stop here and then share my other screen. You just saw in the presentation, present now a window. There. There. You just saw in my presentation my um, system HTTP header plugin. And this is uh, the update server XML. So here um, I have the, the tag platform um, tag in the update server XML, and uh, it specifies the versions 
that this update or this extension can um, or is supported on. So in this case, it's uh, 3.9. Uh, 8 and 9 and 3.10 and I've uh, specified here um, or before tested for sure um, that um, this extension can also be installed on, um, uh, on, on, on Joomla 4 with this version when this version would be uh, 1.0.15 or whatever um, and this would be uh, still uh, the uh, wouldn't wouldn't be updated, then uh, you can see from the uh, and would then you would see okay you need to have uh, you need to update first so you don't uh, you, yeah you can um, uh, see what's what's in there. Um, the other example I showed from the screenshot is um, my image lazy loading plugin. Their target platform is just three point nine right now. So the compatibility tag um, or the compatibility check says no. Uh, the compatibility tag uh, uh, just oh, just go to the tip to, to, to a little bit larger. Um, the compatibility tag just said three point nine is supported, and uh, so you get a no on um, the uh, on the extension check right now. So let's switch back to the presentation. Presentation from here. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, microvirion update. Um, the thing that can happen to um, uh, can happen to some extensions would be their missing compatibility tag. So when that target platform version. Um, tag is not found by the uh, pre-update check. You see this tag to indicate, okay, um, Joomla can't detect that or what version uh, this extension is supported on. So it might work or might work on uh, Joomla 4.2, uh, but uh, best would be to contact developer, the, 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 the developer, um, so um, that he better include um, uh, the compatibility tag or um, yeah, make a note uh, somewhere that you can or you cannot update. Um, so um, that, then that's uh, um, in the beginning for the uh, pre-update check. Um, then we have a three of 10 for end users integrators. Um, basically right now um, it's Similar, or it's it's basically just a simple upgrade from 3.9. That would be that is the ban, and it's also um, as mentioned earlier, a starting point for 3.x to um, 4.0 migrations and the minimum uh, support after the initial release. Um, that's basically what the end users need to know know about it. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, the the pre update checker is also a thing you should check. Um, all the other stuff is equal uh, to, uh, from the UI perspective, is equal to uh, 3.9. Um, and the uh, things that are in the background is uh, things that um, uh, changed here or changed is, uh, yeah, that, that are um, going to help uh, the extension developers. And that's the thing um, for this release, the compatibility release. Um, the plan is that uh, with 3.10 and even 3.9, where um, many stuff has already been included, uh, that you have the chance to support um, one extension. You don't have to, or the plan is that you don't have to copy or and maintain two versions of the extension. Uh, so you can have one extension running on 3.10 and uh, 4.0 um, with, with the same code base. So uh, yeah. No, no duplication and uh, yeah, you need to check this version for Joomla 4 and this version for Joomla 10, uh, 3. Um, and there's also a rule of thumb. Um, basically, when an extension runs right now, it will run on 3.10 too, because we don't include, um, we don't want to include um, backwards compatibility, incompatibility changes in 3.10. Um, and an extension that runs on 3.10 and uh, basically runs 
it's up to date uh, uh, code uh, coding uh, practices. So namespace class uh, don't use the deprecated stuff that's going to be removed uh, with um, four dot zero um, or is is removed with four dot zero um, should work on four dot zero two. Um, you should test it definitely, but uh, that's uh, yeah the basic uh, rule of thumb that you could use for um, compatibility. Um, and yeah, uh, so 3.10 for extension developers in short is test it now. Um, right now uh, with uh, Joomla 4.0 beta um, uh, out uh, soon, um, it is uh, uh, it would be great to get uh, your feedback and um, test now wherever there are things missing uh, in 3.10 that we should include or should backboard from 4.0 um, and tell us that. Uh, you are the extension developers, you uh, use um, the, the code base uh, even, even more or sometimes uh, even different than we as, as uh, core developers think of how you can use it. Uh, so please tell us when there are um, uh, issues that you overcome and see uh, how uh, we can uh, set it. And please correctly set tag platform. When you uh, tested your extension and it works on Joomla 4 or is supported on Joomla 4, please add it to the target platform um, uh, and add a target platform tag in general. So the user, users that are about to upgrade from 3.x to Joomla 4 can see your extension is supported, yes or no, um, and they don't have to rely on um, yeah, an external list um, and uh, following um, uh, uh, some, some discussions or blog posts. So you can see it on one view um, and that uh, should help uh, them to, to follow that. Um, and yes, we need your feedback because um, 3.10 and 4.0 um, has, uh, yeah, sh should be tested um, now uh, more widely. And please uh, give us as core developers feedback um, so we can uh, improve uh, 3.10 and uh, 4.0 uh, before the final release is out. And that it helps you to um, fulfill the, um, the aim that we have um, same code base or nearly the same code base. Yeah, there will be some version conditioning um, uh, uh, required, but um, not that you have to to maintain two different versions um, of your extensions. Um, I've uh, uh, done an interview in, in the latest magazine uh, article about 3.10, basically uh, saying what um, I've said here. Um, and uh, the other link is the potential uh, backward compatibility changes in uh, Joomla 4 um, that uh, every extension developer right now should check. So um, yeah, see that the um, extensions, um, what, what, what is going to be removed and replaced by whatever. Um, and uh, so, so the extensions can be uh, adapted and uh, updated right now. Um, with uh, some of the changes already done or prepared in 3.9 and 3.10. Um, and as always, please use the nightly builds. Uh, right now, um, there is no uh, beta version uh, on 3.10, and um, but uh, there are nightly builds. So every night uh, from the development uh, branch, we have a new uh, version um, you uh, can test on and um, you can uh, install your extensions into and uh, yeah, test wherever there are issues uh, or test the, the upgrade checker um, and uh, see wherever the update XML is set up correctly. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, do you have any questions, Robert? Do we have any questions about 3.10? That was quick. So yeah. uh, it, it's, it leads me to the idea that it's not really complicated. Um, so what are questions? So um, 
Yeah, not really a question, but um, one of our viewers said that the challenge is that 70% uh, of installed base is not on 3.9, but the earlier releases. Um, so what do you think about this? So this will, yep. this will be a problem for us. Yes, yes and no. Uh, well, when you don't, uh, when you have so many people upgrading, uh, not not upgrading, uh, the problem is not um, the, the core itself. It's the the problem problem of the user, right? Um, so, um, yeah. When we don't get them to update, we can no no code on on the world can um, uh, uh, improve things for them because we can't time travel. Um, and uh, fix things uh, before. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I saw your T-shirt. Um, you, you, you can time travel. Maybe you can help me uh, to time travel and uh, fix things uh, from uh, from the past. Um, so, yeah, um, there is. There are some uh, ex uh, sites not running on the update up to date version, um, but all sites that run on up to date version. Uh, can you make use on the features and um, uh, yeah and uh, share do you have an idea about uh, about um, so there, there might be a reason for 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 people not up, upgrading to new versions and uh, uh, maybe they're all lazy so you're not never will get them to be not lazy um, but do you think there can be also other other reasons why people are not going to 3.9 or 3.8 or whatever behind laziness. So do you, do you see there some, some technical aspects that they uh, are not, not um, uh, upgrading? So my, my idea or my, my essential the question behind this is, uh, do you know that, that some extensions not supporting probably so running on 3.7 but not running on 3.8? Do you know I'm, something I, about this? I'm 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 personally not aware of that. Um, that there are extensions um, on that, that are running on three dot seven or uh, lower and don't run on three dot um, eight or nine, um, because uh, usually we don't break backbox compatibility in. Um, 3.10, uh, 3, 3 x series. So um, mm. that's the, the basic idea is that you can run the extension that runs uh, on, uh, yeah, w when they don't rely on bugs that we fix, but uh, yeah. that should not be the case. So yeah, I I, I don't think that's a, it's about the uh, extensions in this case. Yeah. Yeah, simply so probably there's a little of discussion now that probably customers don't know that they can upgrade or how they can upgrade or whatever. So I think that's nothing we can fix. Uh, but but uh, for me, it seems that uh, that we really, um, as a project, build a technical base for for making the transition to, to four as, as easy as possible. Yeah. Um, and um, probably when people still on 3.8, yeah, there are security issues and all the stuff, um, but yeah. So when they are happy with them and don't see really a reason for upgrading, uh, they maybe don't see a reason for upgrading to four. Um, so they don't need to release the bridge um, um, uh, release. Um, yeah. Anyway, so what can we do? So I, I think nothing. Time, time um, travel. Yeah, time travel. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, I don't know what we should do then. So um, let's use WordPress and not Joomla. So that's it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as, 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 as for updating, uh, I, I don't know what the exact version where we introduce it, the, the update plugin that uh, informs you on every update. So yeah. Um, yeah, when you explicitly disable that plugin, you don't get the notification about an update. Um, that was that was a thing that um, I could understand that not everyone is following the news on Joomla org or uh, the Twitter feed. Um, but right now, every uh, Joomla installation informs you when there is an update out. So yeah, um, 
I think yeah, laziness always, is the thing. So we, we all know this from our daily business that, that, that you get contact with from, from uh, people that are saying, oh, I, I need to update my site. She, she is, my site is very old. And, uh, and then they came up with a 1.6 or something. Mm. Uh, and you're saying, okay, um, your, your website is now 18 or 19 years old or whatever. Mm. Um, and uh, no, 18, not 18, but 12 or whatever. Um, you should basically so, rebuild it. Yeah, yeah trash it. Or probably use uh, static HTML. So um, if you don't update your site so long. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. So we um, we have uh, now a little bit longer break that gives you gives you all all the time to enjoy it if if the sun is already shining. Um, so I enjoyed it already a little bit here in Cologne because here is very good weather. Um, and um, you all can also uh, use this time for for um, uh, doing some social media, tweeting about uh, Jab and uh, the experience you have with with this twenty four hours online event, and um, go on our website, uh, hit the donate button, um, and um, there are also other things what you can do in this thirty minutes. Uh, thirty minutes. Uh, but most importantly, in 30 minutes, I will, uh, I hope that you all are coming back for our next presentation. And our next presentation is about, let me look, it's about uh, automated, uh, automate backup restoration and make it easy to have testing Joomla for new releases. Um, that's uh, the next presentation. Uh, so I hope to see you all uh, back in uh, roughly 30 minutes.